might experience shame for living in a larger body or having a chronic health condition. And a common suggestion my clients will hear from well-meaning individuals is to use weight loss as a first line of approach for health, regardless of how it's done. But what we actually see in the literature is intentional weight loss can be more harmful in the long run for our physical and mental health due to the effects of weight cycling and disordered eating patterns. Over 90 to 95% of folks who attempt weight loss regain that weight or more two to five years after starting weight loss attempts. Dieting attempts often feel really good in the short term because the pounds just seem to melt away. However, in the long term, it's not sustainable. What can be sustainable though is finding food choices and movement that is motivated by other reasons outside of weight loss. This isn't the flashy route, but the one that helps folks who are looking to sustain their health in the long run.